The world is more connected. Smart sensors, including barcode and RFID labels assigned to equipment, medication and patients, give everything a digital voice. That digital voice, captured by handheld and fixed readers, can help you track and trace items across your hospital in real time. How can you use this information to enhance patient care, help teams make better decisions and improve the way you work? Meet John. He's in an ambulance with an acute myocardia infarction. Times of the essence. The paramedics have triaged John and are taking him straight to the coronary care unit. The team's been alerted that he's on the way and have the goal of commencing John's angioplasty inside 60 minutes. Nurse Jane and her team greet John by name. They use a computer on wheels and a printer to print a barcode wristband. The wristbands attach to John and details his ID and time of first treatment. John's connected to an ECG and his test results are sent over Wi-Fi to auto-update his health record. His blood's also taken and his wristband scanned. The data is used to create a new label via a handheld computer and mobile printer. This label shows all the details the lab needs, including the time, John's ID and samples needed. The label's attached to the blood vial to enable full traceability and sent to the lab. The lab scans the barcode as John's blood is tested by an automated machine that loads the results to his electronic health record. The tests confirm the severity of the heart attack and John's prepped for theatre. John's consultant, Emma, visits his bedside to talk through the diagnosis and explain what will happen next. In the operating theatre, the team reviews John's records on a large screen. As John's wheeled into the operating room on his bed, his wristband is scanned as part of final checks to confirm his ID. The stent to be implanted has a 2D barcode on its packaging. The code is scanned using a handheld computer prior to surgery and the details are stored on John's medical record. So, should concerns be raised about the device in future, it will be easy to trace John to ensure he receives appropriate treatment. After John's operation is complete, he's returned to the ward. In all, from his admission to the stent's insertion, John's been in hospital for 57 minutes. Later, John's visited by Emma, who advises him on ongoing care. Nurse Peter scans the barcodes on one month's course of anti-clotting drugs from a stock held on the ward and gives them to John. Emma, meanwhile, updates John's clinical notes on her tablet PC. And machines monitoring John overnight are connected over Wi-Fi to the handheld computers used by the ward team. Alarms will sound on the devices should his condition change. John leaves the next day with the feeling that he's been treated by a caring, dedicated and professional team. Whatever hospital or clinic you run, you too can benefit from the latest technology to give clinicians real-time access to critical patient data wherever they need it, improve processes and enhance decision making. Want to know more about how we can help you improve patient care? Please visit zebra.com forward slash healthcare.